This is the Holy Grail system by Forex Grail himself. It cost about $80. Now if you want it, it is very cheap or if you cannot afford it, you can just watch this video. Let's dive straight into today's video. You are tuned in live with Montevino Valentine at Pride FX. Tuned in to Robot Wednesdays. Robot Wednesdays. This is my success. Welcome to another week with Montevino Valentine. I'm the co-founder of the Pride FX movement. Now today is Robot Wednesdays and every Wednesday we do give out a free software that we have bought on a premium price. Okay, so today we're speaking about the Holy Grail. It costed us $80 and if you want it, you can buy from him. It's a very cheap price to pay. Okay. Now, if you cannot afford it, you can just watch through this video and you can also use the software. Okay, so basically, before I begin, please like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that you do not miss any future content on the Pride FX YouTube page. Okay, so let's dive straight into today. There is a lot to do, and so I'm just going to bring up this. I don't really like bringing up this, and I'm just going to take the grid away because I don't like the grid. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open an account. Okay, now once you get to open an account, what I need you to do is click on the plus search Globex. Okay, so you're going to do exactly what I'm doing. So you're going to Globex 360 and you're going to scan. Now once it's scanned, um, it will give you the ones that's actually for Globex 360. Now there's only two, you're going to get a real and a demo account. So we have assigned this to a demo account because we definitely know some of you would want to sabotage us and take trades on our real accounts. So we have made a demo account for you. Okay, so we can all use it. Now, you need to watch throughout this video because everything we're explaining to you is going to help you set up this thing. Okay, so if you're not watching until the end, um, you're going to run into problems. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to click on demo. We will send the credentials for this account to the Pride FX Telegram page. Okay, go into the Telegram page, get the, the credentials, put it in, um, come back to the video. Or if you want to watch the video first and just come and log in later, you can do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the basics of how to install software onto your MetaTrader 4 as well. Okay, so going to put in the credentials, going to put in the password, whatever the password is, and then you're just going to click finish. Now I won't do that because this is the wrong account. Now once you've done that, it should bring up Yaish Mayer's name. Okay, so you guys know Yaish Mayer is the co-founder of Private FX. Okay, so once you're in this account, we can now start setting up the software because there is a license behind this. Now the reason why we could not also um, now the reason why we could not also um, take off the license is because of one reason and you guys know it by now is that we got this file the ex4 and we know that with that we can't do anything we need to go deep into the code so that we can fix the software now decompiling soft systems we have bought a few uh, none of them work so we cannot decompile something that does not work okay so Basically, we're going to show you how to install software onto your MetaTrader 4 or your MetaTrader 5 platform. Okay, so what you need to do is go to your folder. You're going to get two files. Okay, so number one, you're going to get the Forex trading system as a zip file and you're going to get key files. So wherever you save these files, um, you need to extract them. So you can see I've already extracted them and I have Forex trading system over here and I have my key files down below. Okay, so now that you know that, we can go back into this. So what we're going to do is we're going to install them from all over again. So I'm going to delete mine quickly. So that we can all have the same experience. Okay, so you can see what is going on. I want to give you half information and then um, we end up with you struggling to set it up. So the first thing you definitely know what you need to do is log into your issues account because that's where the license is. That's where the game ball is. Okay, so you need to get the license first. 
so that you don't run into complications okay so I have taken everything away okay so now what you need to do is click on file open data folder and once you've clicked on open data folder you want to click on MQL4 and once you're in MQL4 we need to go into indicators okay so let me delete this and now we are clear from everything okay so now once you clear from everything I want you just to go into here now this is a template file and this we're going to use last so we're going to take this and we're just going to copy it uh, why did I cut it okay let's just copy it and we want to go back here and we go to file um, okay so I've already opened this so okay let's let's start from the beginning I want to take you through the through the experience so I'm going to click on file first and then this we know what we're going to use it for and we're going to click on open data folder now once you've opened your data folder just go to MQL4 once you're in MQL4 I want you to click on indicators because all this is indicators okay so once we go into our indicators we need to go back to where we have saved that file so here's my file and here are the indicators so I'm going to copy them and once I've copied them all you're going to do is just paste them okay once they paste it just click exit and you want to refresh now the reason why this is coming up is because I have not installed the, the system as yet that's why you're getting all that annoying sounds okay so let's so we want to drag them over first the reason why we're dragging them over first is because we want to show the system that we have the software and we want to also know if it's working okay does it does it actually accept the code from an external source okay so we want to see what it does and so you can see it picks it up but it's not giving us yet anything okay it's just showing us a blank chart so once you've done this just click ok it's still going to come back all the time so it's going to be annoying click on file open data folder when you open data folder I want you to copy and paste the license into there you're going to replace all those files so you're going to come down here and we're going to look for key files here's my key files just going to copy them and once we have copied them we're going to go back to MQL4 and once we're in MQL4 we just need to look for indicators and we're just going to paste now when you paste them they're going to ask you to replace these files just say replace the files okay and you click exit and you click exit now from here I want you to first reinstall it okay do all of this first now you can see they're working okay they're picking up that there is a license now so they're validating if there is a license that's why we're getting all the stuff to work now okay so daily pivots we need it back there because when you install the template it needs to load everything and pick up everything that you have done okay on your chart so now we have done that and the last one is this one and all we're going to do is allow and we're done okay so there's one more thing I need to first get you in mind one, two, two. never got this one okay so I need to copy this quickly and we're just going to go back to file quickly now the reason why this annoying thing is keep pop popping up okay so we go here we're going to indicate this and we want to paste this okay we don't want to miss anything we want to have everything on our chart so let's just paste this quickly so let's replace that and it's line 122 and so I forgot to refresh that's the problem I have here okay so I forgot to refresh guys uh, just refresh before you install everything okay so that this annoying guy can stop giving us the ring bell that we don't have the software okay so just allow allow um, go to daily pivot targets allow allow go to line 112 the reason why we need this is to give us the best um, volume of the of the trades okay so we're going to allow all this and we're going to allow THV version 3 to be on our chart okay so we're done 
Now what you're going to do after this, you can see it's not complaining anymore. What we're going to do is go to load template. Okay, so load your template and um, in that file, remember I told you in the start there will be there will be a specific reason why we need this. So you click here. So, okay, let's start from the beginning. You click on Forex Trading System, you go to template file and open. Once you open, it should bring up this. Now we're done. Okay, we're done installing the system. So once you're done installing the system, I want you to focus on the main stuff. Okay, don't focus on too much. So let's just zoom out a bit to give our graph some room to breathe. And I'm going to explain everything to you from this point. Okay, so looking at this chart, you can see there is a lot of information to cover. Okay, now you don't need to focus on too many things. I think for now, just focus on what you know and what you can get from it. Okay, so we're going to use these levels that they have given us as our take profit one. We're going to use this as our take profit two. And we're going to use this level as our take profit three. Okay, I want you to focus on these levels as your take profits because they do help out a lot when you don't know when to exit the market. Okay, this is just to give you that um, experience of where to place it. Now, this, if we had a sell trade, I'd have made this my take profit one, my take profit two, and my take profit three. Okay, that's for my sell signals. So, the middle of it is telling us when can we enter and when can we exit. Okay, so this is just basically telling us if we're going for a sell, we're going to use this as our price. And if we're going to buy, we're going to use that as our price. So the blue line indicates to us that it's in between the middle trying to figure out where does price want to go. Okay, so that you know now and that is for your take profit. Okay, now this here is telling us when the candle will close. So it will run very slowly because it has a lag and you know um, if you don't have a VPS system, this will run slow. But the rest of the chart, it works like a bomb. Okay, so you can see this candle will close in five minutes time and that is explainable. So you know when is the candle going to close so you can anticipate when to enter. That's the important part of having time on your chart as well. So you don't have to wait and say, okay, um, after four hours and then you forget. So when you come back to your chart, you can just look at how much time you have left before you're going to enter. And that's what I like. It's telling you, look, after five minutes, I'm going to create a new candle. So if you see a signal, you can take it. Okay. So that's why the time is there for you to use. Now we're going on to the lower bottom of my chart. And I just want to explain to you something before we go on into the further stuff, okay? So, over here, you will have your pairs. So if you click on it, it will bring up AUD USD, it will bring up NZD USD. And the reason why this is important is because they have made one window for you, okay? So now you don't have to add them below. So you won't have to go down here and click on this and add the window. So they've already added the window for you. So all you need to do is click on the window you want to see and that's it so basically they have given you the full experience of making trading very easy for you okay so that's what I like about it that's the best part of it I think that's the best part for me okay for you it might be to enter but what I like about this is I like to I don't like to add too many charts below and still set them up I just want to have it here and so I don't have to keep throwing my indicators all the time onto my MetaTrader 4. If you've been using other robots, you know what I'm speaking about. So when you're installing a software, you need to add all those windows and you need to re-upload every single indicator on every single chart, you know? So most people made it easier by using templates, but you're still doing a lot of work to set up the same thing. Now with this one, it's one window, you have all your indicators there, so all you need to do is just click on them 
and they're there. Now they don't offer um, N uh, NASDAQ, so if you want to use NASDAQ, you're going to have to load it on its own. Okay, so let's move along. And so now we're going to move into the volume of trades. So when price starts to move in a buy trend, we need to know the volume. Okay, where is the volume? If it's red, we definitely know we cannot buy. Okay, so for instance, here we could not buy because of this and because of that, you know. And if you're looking here, you can see there was a slight downtrend, and we could have taken that trade. Advisable that our take profit levels are also there. Okay, so now we know that. Now we need to move on to the better side of things. Okay, so the volume tells you when to buy. If it's blue, we know it's a buy. But how high the volume is also tells us when to take a trade. So if the volume is stagnant, something like this, it's just moving in that level. We cannot take a buy because it's telling us the price is consolidating. Okay, but if price is moving up like this, we know we can take a buy trade. Okay, and the same applies with your sell trades. Okay, if the volume is low, okay, look at this example over here. We can see that the volume was stuck at this point. So over here, we can see that the volume was stuck. That's why we had a lot of um, false signals and all sort of stuff. So what we need basically is for a beautiful trend to catch that trade. Okay, so it needs to look something like this where price is moving lower and lower and lower. Okay, so that also anticipates for us to know what is currently happening with the trend. Is it consolidating or is it moving in a way that we can expect a lot of um, pups? Okay, so if you're looking at this example down below, this is volume just being at one place. It's not moving, it's not doing anything. So when you're looking at this volume, you can see that nothing is actually happening. So why would you take a trade there if there's nothing happening? So if you want to trade there, I would say, if you know what's going on, move down to the lower time frames, take a few trades and get out immediately. Okay. So for me, I'm using the one hour chart. That's why I'm explaining it from the one hour. Okay. So you can see that when price is like this, nothing is occurring. But when price is inclining like this, we know that we're definitely getting the better side of it. Okay. Now the same with this applies. If we had an uptrend like this, okay, let me show you what I mean. So if we had an uptrend like this, and I move my cursor over here, what is it telling me? The price is still buying, even though it's red. So if you want to have a proper downtrend, you need to focus on the volume going towards the sell. Okay, price needs to come back down to a proper level. Okay, so now you know what the volume is for. Okay, don't confuse it. Don't try and take trades if you don't understand the volume. If the volume is declining, we know we're going for a sell. But if the volume is inclining and it's showing us red, we know it's still inclining. It should be going down, not up. Okay, so you should know that before you take your entries. Okay. The reason why I'm explaining this before taking entries is because I know most people would have just decided, okay, I want to take a trade. I'm seeing a buy. Let me take a buy. No, you need to look at the volume below on the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail will tell you when to take a trade and how much volume is there. Now, if the volume is inclining, you know that you can push a few pips. If it's in a stagnant place, you know you can... Um, hold a trade for so long and so forth. So that's the reason why we're calculating what is going on over here. Okay, now here is another example of an uptrend. You can see that the volume is going up and what we're seeing on our chart is an uptrend. Okay, so let me delete this because I like a clear chart. Okay, so now that you know that, we need to move on to explaining how you take your trades. So how to take trades, you need to be very patient with yourself. With this system, you need to be very patient. It's very, it's very good, but if you're not patient with it, 
it's not going to be patient with you okay so what you need to do is look at my dotted lines okay you can see I have two dotted lines the one below and the one above so my yellow line tells me where the trend is going okay the same with my volume so you can see that when it crossed over we know that price is moving in an uptrend it's inclining it's moving upwards it's not moving downwards like this one we can see that it's moving upwards so now that you know where trend is going you know that okay I'm looking for buys now when you know that it's like a guideline so if you know what is going on in the market you actually know what is going on when you're taking your trades okay so if you're selling on an inclining market expect to lose money if you're buying on an inclining market you know that you're making money if you're selling on a declining market you know you're making money and if you're buying on an incline on a declining market you know you're losing money okay it's up to you I don't know how much risk you would take but that's how I look at the market so now we're going to explain to you what this crossover means so when this crossover comes we know that we buy okay so this is the first confirmation of a buy trade so I'll take this buy and I would leave my stop loss just below my yellow line because I want price to respect my yellow line you know so these bars must respect it and you can see they're always respecting it moving upwards okay so this is my first trade and I would have taken this trade as my second confirmation and that's it I wouldn't take any more trades the reason why I won't take any more trades is because I'm already in profit of two okay if I'm looking for another setup I would wait for my blue line to cross over my yellow line and we would have expected a sell but obviously like I said to look at the volume and you can see that when it crossed over this is another confirmation of a buy we need this crossover to tell us what is going on don't just take a trade because you feel like the arrow is telling you to take a trade the arrow is just there because it's finding places to buy but we want proper confirmation if the arrow was here alone we'd have just taken buy now there is other indicators that's why we want to use them to their fullest potential don't try and use it against the trend so when it's blue and it crosses over the yellow line you take a buy when the arrow appears again you take a buy okay so we in two profits over there and we in profit over here and then here we have another one so we know this reason because we had an inclining market and you can see over there so now we take this trade we buy and we hold that trade so we never saw that um, the, 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 the moving average crossing over again okay so that's the reason why we stopped over here now I'll, talk, I'll take profit for the highest point would have been over there so we take all our take profit and we wait for a sell okay so don't be impatient rather wait for that sell if you're going to be impatient you're not going to get the best experience out of this okay so now we're going to look at our final confirmation which is a declining market and how you can anticipate this so now when price gets to an area in the blue we definitely know it needs to go back down okay so that's what this does very well it tells you when to buy and it tells you when to sell so if price gets to a level where it cannot push any further so think of it as your roof at home you cannot go above the ceiling and you cannot go below the floor okay so if that's the, the best place for price to be at you should be waiting for a sell confirmation so now we can see that there was an M if I'm looking closely I can see an M over here okay so there was an M as a confirmation but we don't need this I'm just seeing it okay so this was an M and I would have sold over there and obviously you can see that the red dotted line crossed over the yellow line so that's a confirmation for a sell trade so you would have taken a sell there and like I said to you your stop loss should just be above your yellow line and the reason why I'm saying that is because you want price to respect your yellow line at all costs okay you're trusting that yellow line to give you the best profit but if price decides to reverse 
and it goes back to that yellow line we definitely know that it wasn't time for price to go there okay so use that yellow line as a way for you to risk at a better place okay now we can see that price went down and then we had another problem we ran into a stumbling block okay we had this going up but like i said to you we know that price is declining if you're looking down here we can see that price is still declining it's not yet at this line okay so we what we can do is wait for it to cross over and here is another trade so i'm seeing another trade over here there was a crossover so i took that trade now like i said to you when price reverses and we're respecting that our yellow line is our place that price should respect it we didn't have that in this case you can see it went up from the w it went over to form a double top so if you're looking at these two areas over here this is a double top okay so we know it's still going down so that confirmation was a sell and when price crossed over we would have taken a sell right over here okay so we take that sell and like i said to you we want the yellow line to respect we want price to respect our yellow line and it respects the yellow line and we went down until over here so you made a lot of pips so just keep using your trail stop as you're moving along okay so that's it from me montevino valentine who are tuned in live with montevino valentine at pride fx tuned into robot wednesdays robot wednesday this is my success